Hi, guys. Uh, good evening to all of you. Yes, guys. Do you hear me? Hello, guys. Do you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your response. So let us start our session. Yes, uh, I think others also, not only you, others also hear me. Okay. So one second. Let me take others also. Yeah, hanging. They also hear me. Yes, so let us start our session. Yes, before going to the session here, just uh, let me about uh, introduce about myself here. Yeah, this is Nageshwara having 20 years of experience in software field here. Yes, my most of the experience C language, Linux, particularly embedded C, next Java. This area I have the very good experience. Right, okay. Yes, uh, many projects completed. Presently, I'm working for some company. Yes, due to this uh, issue, I'm working from home. So I'm able to uh, take back this time also. Okay, right? Yeah. So let us start session here. Yes, actually, our topic is C with, C with data structures. C with data structures. C with data structures. This is our topic. C with data structures. Right, C with data sectors. Yes, including data sectors, we are going to discuss. But right, okay. Yes, for this course, what is prerequisite? What is prerequisite? Yes, prerequisite to learn to learn C language. Yes, what is prerequisite to learn it here? To learn. Yes, nothing. I am not expecting anything from you. Yes, nothing. Just it's a beginner course. It's a beginner course here. Nothing required here. It's a beginner. Yes, beginner course. Okay, so I'm not expecting anything from you. It's a beginner course. I'm not expecting from you. Right, okay. No expectations. Nothing required here. Okay, anyone can understand this. Okay. Yes, I'm starting from very basics. Here, I'll be starting from very basics here. First of all, let us see. What's the syllabus? Yes, I will tell you syllabus. What's the syllabus we are going to discuss? Okay. So first, before C language, there are some software basics. First, discussing about software basics. Yes, after finishing all software basics, next entering to entering the C language. Software basics after finishing before going to C language, there are some basics. Okay, we'll finish all that basics next and extending to C language. So in C language here, first introduction. Yes, introduction to C language. Introduction. Okay, introduction. Yes, in the introduction part. What is C language? Who has developed C language? That is three and all these things we'll be discussing. Introduction part. Okay, right? Next step. After this, next steps. Yes, sir. One second. Next is yes, order of writing C program. So next is how to write C program. Order of writing. So next one is order of writing C program. Order of writing C program. The order going this case. Yes, after finishing that yes, next data types. Next about C language data types. Yes, yes after finishing data types. Next about operators. Going to discuss about operators. Yes, after finishing operators. Next topic is control statements. Control statements. Yes, control statements. Control statements. Control statements like uh, like if statements. Yes, go to statements. Next switch case statement. Switch case. Switch case statement. Next while loop. Yes, next do while loop, do while loop, and for loop to end this case. All the control statements, right? Yes, up to this one, up to loops, up to loops, it's just a core C language. Up to this one here, we are going to discuss about 60 programs, different scenarios. Yes, around 60 programs we will discuss. 
up to six topic yes after finishing this is code c language code c language after that next data structures part yes next part is data structures part in that data structures data structures yes in data structures so next topic first topic data structures first topic is arrays we'll be discussing about arrays so first is arrays yes arrays yes single dimension arrays yes two dimension arrays like this so first one yes single dimension arrays yes single dimension arrays next two dimension arrays like this yes in this yes searching techniques algorithms here yes searching techniques next sorting yes sorting techniques yes is a part of data structures concept here searching techniques sorting techniques including algorithms including algorithms go to discuss okay so algorithms just algorithms here algorithms including algorithms searching techniques and sorting techniques searching techniques like linear search binary search in sorting here different different kind of sorting techniques like uh, like bubble sorting next sequence sorting insertion sorting quick sorting next heap sorting merge sorting different kind of all the techniques we will discuss okay algorithms including algorithms yes after finishing arrays so next one is after finishing arrays next is strings strings yes different like uh, how to read these strings how to display these strings next copying strings finding length of the strings here conversion of the strings next concatenation of the strings next making reverse how to make the reverse of the strings here searching for a string sorting strings next how to read password string yes password string input must be star type like this so how to manage that kind of things we'll discuss that is strings concept yes after finishing here next structures next structures structures concept right structures yes after finishing structures like employee information student information something like this structures okay right? record data yes how to maintain some records like that yes after structures here next is pointers we'll be discussing about pointers here yes pointers pointers yes the pointers various scenarios here pointers pointers and variables different combinations pointers and variables okay yes pointers and variables first pointers and variables yes after finishing here pointers and arrays see up to this is control statements using variable right next arrays right so pointers and arrays pointers and arrays so pointer to arrays so pointer to variables next to pointer to arrays pointer to arrays yes after pointer to arrays here next to pointer to strings this combination pointer to strings okay after this next pointer to strings pointer to structures next next is pointer to structures next after this pointer to yes pointer to pointers so next is yes pointer to pointers pointer to pointer pointer to pointers the different combination with very big chapter pointers pointer to pointer that okay after that next topic is functions yes functions this is very big topic functions different type of functions stories classes recursive functions is a types of functions okay types of functions like predefined functions user defined functions in user defined also again types types of functions Okay, after finishing types of functions here, next storage classes. So how to use storage classes? Storage classes like your storage classes like your auto storage class. Yes, storage classes like auto storage class. Storage classes like your auto storage class. Next user storage class. Next yes static storage class. Next external yes external storage class. So different types of storage classes. Yes, after this year, next pointers. Yes, pointer functions combination here. Yes, one second. Before pointers, we have one more concept here. Yes, types of functions. Types of functions. After finishing types of functions here. 
yes next tourist classes after finishing tourist classes next different combinations functions and variables yes functions and variables yes starting starting with variables right how to use variables so functions and variables right again okay. next after this functions and arrays combination okay. functions and arrays after that functions and string combinations next functions and structures combinations functions and structures after finishing that functions pointers combination structures pointers yes next is pointers functions pointers here next after this next again the combination defining here functions pointers and variables and variables variables yes again that three combinations repeating here yes next functions pointers and arrays yes functions very big topic yes all the topic repeating functions next functions pointers arrays next things things next functions pointers yes under structures the combination structures next functions pointers and then yeah function pointers listen this call by so next is call by call by value functions under yes reference functions call by reference functions call by value call by reference functions reference functions call by value call by reference so functions are very big topic so till now what are discussed before the functions here what are discussed here all the combination will be repeating with pointer right okay so functions after finishing functions here next topic is files yes next is files so how to use files here files right yes here reading opening files reading data from the file writing to the file okay yes next how to handle structured data some records okay yes how to read records storing records and reading records suppose employee information or student information something like this storing data into files format like yes in this we'll discuss big projects yes we are going to discuss about some big project live project here election here okay live live very big project we are going to discuss very big project election okay yeah this is more than thousand lines of code here more than thousand lines of code more than thousand lines of code big project we are going to discuss it's live project it's a crud application okay crud application means crud means create or means reads u means update d means delete creation of new records yes c means creation of new records reading existing records u means updating existing records d means deleting existing records that crud operations yes it's a real time project yes real time project right okay yes after finishing this one here next dynamic memory management yes dynamic dynamic memory memory management dynamic memory management yes how to use dynamic memory management yes in dynamic memory management how to allocate memory at run time here how to deallocate allocate and deallocate memory at run time how to do that it's a dynamic memory management okay yes after this next topic is yes linked list next is how to create linked list linked list topic here creation of linked list yes linked yes linked list topic here linked list topic here yes is creating linked list how to create new linked list here next how to add the notes how to insert the notes searching for notes sorting notes here deleting notes different operations are linked list here yes in this first one single single linked list single linked list single linked list next second one double linked list single linked list and double yes linked list single linked list and double linked list right okay yes in both cases single and double both cases there is a linear yes linear linear single linked list and circular single linked list here circular circular linear and circular okay linear single linked list circular single linked list next double linked list here also linear and circular both so linked list construction 
yes after finishing linked list here next 16th topic is tax so how to manage tax here the like question pop operations tax question pop operations using linked list okay yes implementation of tax yes using single linked list static or double linked list next 71 queues 17th one here yes queues how to yes how to manage queues here yes in queues also question pop operations same using this link list here link list queue stacks implementing using single link list next queues implementing by using single link list after this final topic is binary tree binary tree yes how to manage binary tree this is so this is complete syllabus okay for all these syllabus here i have prepared documents let me show the document here yes this is document c language document yes so this is a document here document see this is introduction to software starting topic here next what is ways yes character interface graphical types here next what is application software front end back end like this languages yes next low level high level languages generation of languages all that basics here yes what is interpreter compiler yes after finishing the basics entering to c language introduction to c language okay that is three history of c language right okay yes next one more thing here in this we are going to discuss about turbo c and ncc two types of compilers we are going to use yes turbo yes turbo c next ncc so these three these two compilers turbo c and ncc here okay so turbo c this is just windows right on windows OS. turbo c on windows OS. just using with windows OS here next ncc linux linux OS. ncc using linux OS. yes for this purpose Linux, just I'll explain some Linux orientation classes and then I'll explain NCC. Okay, yes, after finishing 80% of syllabus, 80% of topics here, topics, yes, 80% of topics, yes, moving to NCC, just moving to NCC. Okay, yes, NCC means Linux based in real time using NCC, in real time using always NCC, you see, embedded C, embedded C, right? Yes, how to build the applications in NCC. The topic will be discussing. Right, okay. Yes. So this is here. So that is three. That's the compiler history. Windows based compiler, Linux based compiler, that is three here, right? Next. Yes, structure of C program. Order of writing C program. This is next after this. Next data types. Yes, next type of variables. Next data types. How to use data types? Different type of data types like this okay yes after data types here next same what are the explain in the document here yes this is same what are syllabus okay listed here the syllabus nothing but document yes this is around 265 page document 265 pages document a class document here yes no no need of writing class notes class notes is not necessary just to follow this document every topic mentioned document here so whatever topic I'm explaining here, the topic is in document here. See writing first program. So this is data types like signed, unsigned, bits and bytes that expression here. Yes, how data store into memory. Yes, including memory map expand here. Right, okay. Yes, writing first program. Yes, next. Half for that, print of funds, scan of functions, how to use that functions here. Okay, next. Operators, unary, binary, ternary, operators he says here. After finishing, operators on this on these operators some examples here yes including inter equations yes in this some inter equations are every topic inter equations also covered inter equations also covered freshers inter equations covered here okay yes all these operators examples here unary binary increment and decrement operators like pre increment post increment like this ternary so many examples here so many examples on these operators bitwise operators okay all the bit ways okay after finishing this next type casting okay implicit casting explicit casting like this type casting mathematical yes math data file how to use that functions here next control statements 
contrast statements like uh, see if statement go to statement switch case statement while loop do while loop and for loop this control statements yes in control statements many examples all these examples yes all these examples many examples yes up to these control statements around 60 examples 60 programs we are going to discuss different scenarios different way of writing programming here yes programming skills yes you'll get the good programming skills once completed 60 examples here yes how to write programming programming skills learning programming skills that kind of concept you get here yes after that here loops these things yes. many examples yes all the examples and loops here all their examples okay yes after finishing loops yes nested loops inner loops outer loops pattern programming yes the next octal numbers strong number arm strong number prime numbers okay next fibonacci series like that so many examples these pattern programs here okay like this yes diamond shape something like this yes like this this kind of pattern programs diamond shape okay yes next butterfly shape how to print butterfly like this something various kind of examples next inner diamond like this yes up to this is yes around 60 programs will be discussing after the terrace next topic is arrays okay data sectors concepts single dimension arrays double dimension arrays yes this searching techniques and sorting yes linear search next to binary search that all the techniques here yes very clearly prepared the document here right okay every program yes in documents every program prepared very clear like this see this document program very clearly prepared yes compile this program this program is compiled after comparison of getting results yes i have placed in documents already compiled programs okay yes compile even single line single statement are not missing here next sorting techniques different sorting techniques examples here this is next two dimensional arrays okay Yes, these arrays, all the programs. Yes, the strings, different operations, string operations, reading, displaying, length, copying, string, like this. Yes, the 15 different operations, XML strings and password strings, how to manage all the things like this. So, string operations, yes, strings, very good, in, interesting topic, strings here. Yes, uh, some very good examples prepared here. All these strings, this is. String operations, all these different operations, many programs this prepared here. Yes, next searching for strings, talking for sorting for strings here, like this. Preparing LX table. This is case study. Yes, this is around 200 lines of program here. Case study, mini projects, like a mini projects. Okay, preparing LX table based on customer type, domestic, customer, commercial, industry, domestic means household, right? Commercial means shops, maybe shops, industry means companies. So based on type of customer preparing the telex bill, right? Based on number of units. Yes, conjugate preparing bill here. This is a case study. Simply case study here. Case study. Yes. Here this is functional document. Inputs like this. Then output bill output format like this. Yeah, that program. That case study program. See, this is program. This program. Very big example. This 200 lines of code. This is around. This is their code for this. Right? Okay. So that is uh, yeah. That is just a case study here. Around 200 lines of statements. That is 200 lines of program. That is. But next structures. Structures topic here. Structures. Yes. After finishing structures. Next. Pointers. See this. Next is. Yes, pointers, pointer theories, and all this. Yes, one second. After finishing structures, yes, pointer concepts. Here, yeah, this is. Yes, pointers, pointers concept. Yes, pointers is one of the big chapters in our syllabus. Pointer to variables, pointer to arrays. Yes, call by value, call by references, pointer to arrays. 
is pointed to strings different combinations pointed to strings is pointed to variables array strings is pointed to structures pointed to structures pointed to structures like this next after this next functions topic yes next size how to find the size of a pointer i like guess next functions functions topic here functions different types of functions here advantages of functions here yes built in functions user defined functions next user defined functions types types of user defined functions okay after finishing different types of user defined functions next is storage class Yes, some examples of these functions. Some examples here. Yes, storage classes. Storage class like automatic register, static, external here, keyword, default value, storage, location, scope, and all this. Storage class instructions. Storage classes. After finishing storage classes. Yes, next step. Yes, memory map of exe file. See, C program. After compilation, result file is exe file. That exe file contains what? Like higher order memory, stack memory, yes, next heap memory, global memory, static memory, text memory, like this. The different memories. That memory management topic here. Right, okay. That memory contains different type of food, variables, storage. Right, okay. Next, after this, yes, generate steps to generate exe file. Like source code, pre processor, next assembler, compiler, next linker, finally, here creating steps to create exe file. This document, yes, in this document, very clearly mentioned here everything here, everything very clearly mentioned here. Okay, so whatever topic I'm explaining here, it's there in document here. Okay, right? so generally for explanation purpose, I'm using notepad. Notepad, so whatever topic explain notepad, same thing is in document here. Okay, this document order. Yes, my order of expression both are same here. Next, recursive functions concept. This is okay. Call by value, call by reference concepts. Yes, that concept here. Yeah, this is functions, pointers, combination. Functions, pointers, variables, functions, pointers, arrays like this. Yes, functions very big topic. This is next in functions here. How to create user defined address file? How to create user defined address file? This is in NCC. Developing C program in Linux base. C program in Linux base. Okay. Yes, here how to create your own header files. There are P different header files. Yes, creating header file, user defined header file. Okay, how to create that? How to build the header files next? Finally, how to build the projects here. The topic this is okay. Yes, after finishing this, next file, file management files, opening files, reading, writing, and closing here. Yes, fun list of functions. F open, F close, F get like this list of all that 17 functions, 17 different operations here. How to use all these 17 functions here? F open function uses. Okay, right? Yes, like this uh, F close function and all this. Next mode of opening here. See, first program to create new file, displaying existing file data. Yes, next. Yes, different functions explanation, one by one functions explained here. By using all these functions here, okay, this is a project. Yes, in this project here. So till now, what we discussed, everything going to use. Yes, every part going to use in this. Okay, right? Yes, in this here, this is a project here. Yes, add a record, display record, modify record, delete record, like this. Exit means stopping projects. Right, okay. Yes, here every topic, structures topic using here. Yes, functions, global functions, calling global functions. Next while loop is here. Next switch case is here. Like this. Okay, right? Yes, menu based topic menu. This is so first next functions here. Yes, almost all topics here. Yes, yes, in projects here, till now what are discussed, everything we covering here. Yes, like loops covering here. Yes, loops covering, switch case statement covering, areas are covering here, next functions covering here. Next structures are covering here, pointers are covering here, files, and all this by using all this till now, whatever discussed here by using all this developing project here. Yes, very big project. Yes, thousand lines, more than thousand lines of code. This is that is real time projects. 
okay real time project here yes you can put up this experience also okay i hope it is also project that experience very big project thousand lines for more than thousand lines of code this is okay next data structures in memory management yes of course till now what we discuss comes on data structures they are main okay this dynamic memory management here dynamic memory management yes memory map of exe file okay right yes next step. yes malloc function free function calloc realloc all the functions here yes how to use that functions here okay memory allocation for single dimensional array double dimensional arrays so using pointers how to access that memories these concepts yes after finishing that link a list topic there yes link a list topic this is link a list single link a list double link a list yes single circular linear and circular like this double link list linear circular like this link a list concept this is that link a list that memory link a list concepts okay yes next step. how to develop the link list with different operations like adding node displaying list here next modifying node deleting node clear list like this. link list very big programs this is yes this is a link list programs around 150 lines of code this is each and every program here single link list double link list all the programs this is one program single link list operations here the single link list operations next step. after finishing that double link list operations one more program. This also 200 lines of code. Double link list operations. Single link list, double link list operations here. After finishing that, next step. Next is stack, stack operations. Okay, push and pop operations here. Add element, yes, remove element, top element, display element, clear stack like this. Push and pop operations. Push, pop, peak, display stack clear stack like this all the operations here stack operations the stack programs here this is around 100 lines of code this is yes next queue operations this is look after finishing queue next binary tree concept this is queue next binary tree one second see is there in another document no it's not here binary tree yeah binary is there in another document yes i'll show that also so these are the topics going to discuss right okay so these documents here yes around 265 page document binary t three five more page document is that is yes c programming see c programming is almost the same for turbo c and anti c here only embedded c difference embedded c yes here the NCC embedded is about here. Turbo C no embedded C. Except the device side programming, that is difference. Remaining is same. Okay, right? Yes. Yeah, let us let us start today's topic here. Let me give the introduction. Let me give the introduction for today. Okay. One second. Yes, yeah, tell me. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Hello. Yeah, uh, for yes. How many? Uh, this program will uh, last, I mean, one month, one and a half month, two months. Yeah, this is, yeah. So this is uh, 45 to 55 days. 45 to 50 days. Okay, daily. Okay. Yes, 432. Yes, 545. 432, 545. Yes, one hour, In one hour. Okay, PM. This is time. This is 40, 40, 50 days, 432, 545. Okay. Yes, next time. Yes, sir. 55 okay. days max. I think max is 60 days. Sometimes taking 60 days also. Yes, it's happening up to 60 days here. Two months. So 432, 545 PM here. Yes, next Monday to Saturday class. Monday to Saturday. Monday to Saturday. Right, okay. Next videos, daily videos available. Yes, you can take videos. Okay, we are creating one. Yes, just we are creating Google Drive. There will place that videos. You can take videos. Next, the software and this document I can provide you. Yes, I'm providing this. Time. Yes, I, I'm passing this document. Okay, I'll send you, I will share you these documents. These documents and next step. software, C software, I'll share you. Right, okay, next one more thing here WhatsApp group. 
just WhatsApp group maintaining for your batch yet? Just uh, already one batch is going and just one week batch, one week back, batch started, that batch is with the 10 members here. Okay. Yes, sir. Just I'll add to that group. Okay, just I'll add to that group here. So then whatever requirements you can't, you can, you can ping in that group here. Okay, yes, it's like a chatting, like that. Okay, what is it? What, whatever you want, you can ping in that group here. I can reply you immediately. I'll reply you. I'll get you, I'll get the response. Any doubts, other you can clear it. Okay, just ping me once a group here. I'll respond. I'll extend or else directly you can call me also. Okay, yeah, this is my WhatsApp number. One second, yeah, this is my WhatsApp number. Yes, WhatsApp number 8179189123. This is WhatsApp number. Just make make it note here. Just ping me what details. Okay, I will add to that group. Yes, already that band just one week back only form here. Okay. Yes, just I'll add to that group. And that that batch members and you batch members both can interact. Okay. Right. So this is. So you need to also what is ping me the... what. Yeah. Uh, for the course. Can you get back once again? Uh, what is the fees of the course? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. The fee is only five thousand rupees for this course fees, including videos and everything. Yeah, just to talk to online team. Okay, about this fee and all this, just you can talk to online team. So, right? Okay. A, a video. Uh, can you understand Hindi? Yeah, I can understand Hindi. Yes, no problem. Yeah, video okay. videos take sake daily. Yes, uh, class. No, no. Class we have on video yeah, or we can download. Yeah, class class. Khatam hone ke baad videos upload karenge daily videos upload karenge into Google Drive. Yes, uh, from that you can watch it. Okay. Yes, you can you can so see that. We take sake. Right. Yes. We cannot download it. Yeah, one year, one year you can watch it. The download facility, yes. Oh. That facility, yes, download facility also available. Just talk to online team, they can provide it. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, download facility, yes. You can watch for one year, no problem. Or else download facility also. Whatever you want, you can get. Okay, videos providing here. Suppose if any class missing, you can watch that video here. Video. Suppose still, if you want to continue with the second batch, you can continue second batch or two times. You can attend no problem, no objection from my side. Right? Okay. Right? Yes. Any other doubts? Yes. No. Okay. So if you don't have doubt, let us let us move to our topic here. Let us start. Yes, sir. So this is my WhatsApp number. Yes, I, yes. In this chat box, I sent you WhatsApp number. Ping me your details. I'll add to that group. That already uh, ongoing batch. Just all the 10 members batch formed here. I will add to that group. Okay. So every day, yes, I can text. Yes, you can text into that group here. I'll answer immediately. Right? Okay. Or else personally also you can text me. I can answer. Right? Okay. Right, any time I can. Okay, right. Suppose sometimes maybe in office work, maybe busy with something here. May not be responding here. Yes, even or free, I'll respond immediately. Right, okay. Yes. One second. Let me have some water. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Hello. Yeah, tell me saying something. Uh, which app, uh, which software uh, are you using? Uh, will uh, like I have Dave C applica uh, Dave C software. Uh, sometimes I practice there. Yes, you can use that. One second. We are using Turbo C software. Turbo C. 
or next code blocks you can use code blocks program in the same here software may be same here yes software may be anyone that c turbo c or code blocks that environment may be anyone environment may be anyone okay. here but programming is same uh, here the program will not change here okay turbo okay. c code blocks next turbo c id we are using turbo c id code blocks id we are using here next and c id in linux and c id we are going to use linux okay in linux environment yes i'll show the linux environment here after that we'll discuss on and c right yes it's very simple turbo c is very easy to work not easy to understand yes code blocks are very easy to understand okay see code blocks this is code blocks code blocks like this turbo c turbo c these things okay program no change program no change here so, yes do i need to uh, download it yeah no no i will send you i will share everything i will share the software okay, okay you, i will take your email id is i will share the c software and programs and everything i'll share you you don't worry about it okay Take so daily yes everything i'll share it you don't worry right okay just the thing is yes here everything i'll work for you just ping me in whatsapp i'll respond is it okay yes okay now yeah let us start yes before going to c language there are some basics so let me introduce for today okay yes uh, just to, yes introduction today we'll discuss introduction here yes i'm starting from very basics before going to c language there are some basics okay yes anyone can understand this who don't have the it background or they can understand this yes suppose a mechanical guy maybe civil guy maybe somebody here they can they, yes who are converting the software fields for them very useful this is i'm starting from very beginning here who don't have the it knowledge who don't have the it background they also can understand okay so computer where yes computer where see computer where yes computer where basically two categories two categories first one is hardware first one is hardware second one is software hardware and software first one is hardware next second one is hard software here hardware and software so what is hardware what is software yes hardware these are physical components of a computer right hardware these are physical physical components hardware they are the physical components of a computer yes physical components of a computer right physical components of a computer like the like mouse mouse next keyboard next hard disk next ram memory right next processor processor yes all these hardware components right but actually this is not our part yes we are a software engineer right so our part is software this is not our part here hardware these are the physical components right okay yes our part is software so let us move to software here so what is software so what is a software okay yes in software yes everything is program in software everything is program yes everything is a program everything is a program here everything is program right yes in software everything is a program everything is a program right okay yes simply you can say it's a collection of programs it's a collection yes it's a collection of programs it's a collection of programs it's a collection of programs like c C++, maybe Java program, yes, maybe Python program. Like this, there are different programs, like maybe Hadoop, something like this, all the programs. Yes, the software, it's a collection of programs. Software, it's a collection of programs. Okay, fine. Next, in software, basically, two categories. There are two categories, basically, here. There are two categories, two categories. In software, basically, two categories. First one, system software system software second one application software 
system software next one is application software this application of system software next application software see in document very clearly prepared here don't worry about it see introduction to software software is a collection of programs yes in document very clearly prepared here software system software application software systems of what is system software what is application software right like the drivers and ways everything very clearly prepared here okay yes what is front end what is back end all these things is there in document very clearly okay so don't worry so no need of writing any running notes running notes is not necessary so try to understand the class you can you can watch the recordings also right okay yes let us see one by one here so there are two categories in software basically two categories system software next application software c language comes under application software c is a application software so before going to this let us see something about system software yes system software what is system software system software yes this one interacts this one interacts with hardware components this one interacts with hardware components interacts with hardware components yes interact with hardware components yes system software this one interacts with hardware components okay example here interacting with hard this software interact with hardware components example yes device device drivers yes device drivers and operating and operating systems device drivers and operating systems comes from this category operating systems device drivers and operating systems example device drivers and operating systems yes what is device driver just little bit we will discuss okay so what is device driver so device drivers see get to run any device compressor driver requires drivers are to run the devices drivers yes drivers are to run devices to run devices so without driver devices will not work driver required compressor here okay drivers are to run the devices so without driver devices won't work devices won't work compressor driver requires so for every device driver requires otherwise will not okay right see drivers for every device for example in your system here there is a keyboard yes in our computer there is a keyboard next mouse hard disk monitor for all these, these are hardware components right for every device drivers requires yes mouse driver keyboard driver where these are they are part of ways built in with ways yes in drivers also internal drivers and external drivers suppose if it is internal component if it is part of your computer yes that component that hardware is part of your computer like a mouse keyboard hard disk monitor is a part of computer right for this uses some drivers those are internal drivers yes internal drivers those are yes internal drivers right internal drivers are part of operating system only internal drivers are part of os just it's a part of os internal drivers are part of os mouse driver keyboard driver all are part of operating system right okay next external devices external devices external devices like printer yes like a printer tv okay yes like a printer yes like printer tv they are external devices right printer connected to your computer next is tv okay printer tv yes next is suppose scanner scanning machine yes is scanning yes scanning some images here okay scanners next is fax machine yes all the external devices right so all the external devices for the separate drivers okay so printer suppose if you want these printer yes you have to yes install a driver you have to use that here, right so printer tv scan for all these external devices external drivers here right so these drivers these drivers supplied by hardware vendors these drivers yeah these drivers that hardware manufacturer printer manufacturer will provide the driver right okay scanner that manufacturer the device manufacturer will provide the driver here take the driver put into your system and you can use just you place in the system copy in the system and you can use the, use the device right okay so exactly what is this driver here yes they are programs all drivers are programs here yes almost all drivers are developed in c language all drivers all drivers were developed in c language so they are the programs so what is device driver device driver yes it's a program yes device driver is a program yes is a program 
yes is a program to communicate with the hardware components to communicate yes to communicate to communicate with the hardware components to communicate with the hardware components just is a program to communicate with the hardware components right okay so device never just is a program to communicate with hardware components yes yes to run every device driver requires without driver devices won't work these are the programs device drivers are the programs yes yes next ways next is ways just idea given here device driver but not required this is not our part here not required for us just what is device driver just discussed just is a program device driver is a program to run the devices okay next ways yes here some question for you what is ways just before here one second before there's some question for you some clear some question here can we run can we run any program can we run any program without ways say yes or no yes anyone can you answer this can we run any program without ways this is question uh, we need operating system to run the program yeah can we run uh, we without are... any... say no, yes no. or no uh, we, we... Uh, no no yes right yes answer is no yes not all you others also replied same here no answer is no okay to run any program compulsory ways required without ways we can't run any program yes let me show that here how that is see this let me show that see here suppose your computer maybe your laptop first initially just purchasing laptop right means hardware so first you purchasing laptop hardware right purchasing laptop next what ways operating system right yes ways we have to install it operating system okay right yes so first hardware on top of hardware ways installation right once ways is installed now system is ready without ways there is no system right your laptop without ways laptop will not work right compulsory ways required yes after finishing yes sorry after purchasing your laptop next ways installation once ways is installed your system is ready yes once ways is installed here your system is ready to is right okay yes now suppose learning c language yes that c software you have to install on top of ways you have to install c software so learning c++ you have to install suppose learning java you have to install okay suppose python learning now okay, right suppose hadoop learning here okay suppose some database learning some database something like this maybe even ms office also yes ms office also even for ms office also this way is required okay right yes all these are called as yes application softwares yes all these are application softwares yes application softwares all their application software that okay all c language c plus java python all your application software okay just to run all this here like c program c plus java python something like this here to run all these programs we need a ways without ways we can't do anything here compulsory ways required without ways there is no computer so compulsory ways required okay yes what is ways let us see that what is ways yes what is ways let us see what is ways see on top of ways c program c++ java python hadoop all the programs running on top of ways right Okay, on top of ways, all the programs running means ways. It's giving platform 
it's giving platform for the all the programs right so like a platform so voice is like a platform right okay so what is voice so what is voice? question is what is voice so how to answer this here yes answer for this question what is voice then there is a fresher questions for freshers asking this type of questions here what is waste first point waste is a platform so waste is a platform it's a platform which waste is a platform yes it's a platform waste yes simply can say platform platform waste is a platform yes where where we can run where we can run all applications of this all applications of this yes waste yes it's a platform Yes, ways it's a platform where we can run all application softwares. All application softwares. Yes, all application software, right? Yes, it says so ways is acting like a platform. So ways it's a platform. So on top of ways, all are running, right? So it's acting like a platform. Just it's giving platform here. On top of this ways, all the programs running. Okay, fine. Not only platform here. Suppose, for example, C program generating some output here. C program generating output. So first of all, output of C program goes to OS. Output of C program goes to OS here. OS to output device. OS to output device, right? Suppose C program reading from the keyboard. C program reading from the keyboard. So first the keyboard data goes to OS. Keyboard data goes to OS here. OS to then C program. Maybe C program, maybe C program, Java, something like this. These programs. So these programs, output of this program first of all goes to OS. Ways to output device, right? Suppose these programs reading from the keyboard. So keyboard data goes to ways, ways to these programs, right? So between application software and the hardware, there's a ways layer, right? Ways. So just like a media trap between these two layers, right? So between hardware and application software, there's a ways. Means like interface. Just it's an interface. So next point, it is an interface. Ways, it is an interface. It is an interface. Yes, it's an interface. Yes, interface between between hardware. Yes, it's an interface between application. Yes, application software, application software and hardware components and hardware, application software and hardware. Right? Okay. So between the hardware layer and applications of this ways. Okay, right? So using ways communicating, right? Right? Okay. So these applications C programs and C plus these are communicating with the hardware components through the ways. Okay, so you get there's no direct communication between these two here. See this. There's no direct communication between application software and hardware. No direct communication. Don't have the direct communication. Yes, don't have the direct communication here. Don't have this kind of direct communication. Okay, application software cannot communicate with the hardware components directly. So between these two, they say voice, right? So voice interface. So between these two interface, right? So voice is an interface. It's an interface between application software. And hardware components. Okay, fine. Yes, here to communicate between these two here, every voice has some input output library. Every voice there is the input output library. So using that input output library, just to communicate between application software and hardware components. Input output library to perform I/O operations. Input output library to perform I/O operations between application software and hardware components. Right? Okay. So every voice. Yes, every ways. Yes, every yes, every ways. Every ways. Okay, every ways has its own library. It's every ways has its own library. Its own library. Yes, every ways has its own library to perform. Yes, to perform different operations like input output operations. To perform I/O operations. To perform I/O operations. Yes, operations operations between yes to perform io operations between application software and hardware components okay every ways this library here every ways contains library right okay so this is just idea about ways of course this is not our part here just little bit idea to understand c programming little bit idea requires so this is little bit idea about ways right okay so this is ways architecture is like this so hardware on top of hardware this ways here on top of this application software so this is about ways so what is ways what is ways ways is a platform where we can run all the application software is like a platform right okay next it's an interface between 
application software and hardware components. Okay, fine. Yes, next, every OS has a input output library to perform IO operations between application software and hardware components. Yes, let us review the document here. See, documents, introduction to software, create topic, introduction to software here. Software, it's a collection of programs. It's a collection of programs such as C, C, Java, SQL, and other programs. Right, okay. Yes, software basically two categories. Software basically two categories here. Yes, software, system software, next application software. C language comes under application software. C is a application software. Okay. Yes, system software. Yes, before going to application software. So a little bit something about system software. System software. Yes, it interacts with very complex. Right? Same topic discussed in Notepad. Same topic is there here. Yes, example device drivers and operations. See device drivers. What is device driver? Device driver. These are the programs to communicate with hardware components, right? Yes, every device has its own driver. Without drivers, devices will not work. Here. Yeah. So about device drivers, like printer driver, network drivers, different kind of drivers here. Next ways. So what is ways? Ways is a platform. It's a platform where we can run all application software. Next, it's an interface. It's an interface between application software and hardware components, right? Next, every yes, see this every operating system has its own libraries to communicate between application software and hardware components, right? Hardware components. Yes, every point mentioned in documents here. So no need of writing any notes. It's not necessary. Every point is there in documents here, right? Yes, hardware on top of this ways on top of this application software, right? This is so this is just idea of choice, right? Yes, what is C language? C language comes under application software. C language comes under application software. So let us see what is application software. Just one minute. Yes, what is application? Let us see about application software. What is application software? See this. Here, system software, yes, software, two categories, system software. So just idea about system software discussed here. Now, application software. C comes under application software. So let us move to application software. Okay, so what is application software? Let us see about application software. Yes, application software, this is for the purpose of application development for the purpose of application development so this is for the purpose of application development yes development right for the purpose of application development application software for the purpose of application development application development application app see every day daily we are working with many apps right? we are working with many applications like facebook is an application gmail yes gmail is an application Gmail is an application, Google, yes, it's an application, Google search engine, it's an application, Flipkart, Flipkart, it's an application, next, Durka website, yes, Durka website, it's an application, right, all the applications, right, so how to develop this kind of applications here, how to develop, for me, some software is required, softwares, depends on requirements, you can use some softwares, softwares like, like HTML, okay, Yes, maybe for front end programming using some HTML. Suppose server set, maybe Java. There are application softwares HTML, Java, C, C. Yes, maybe Hadoop. Yes, maybe Python. Python. Yes, next databases. Databases. All the application softwares except ways. Except operating system like Windows Linux. Except ways remaining all these softwares. Except ways all these softwares comes under application softwares. These are using for the purpose of application development. Application software for the purpose of application development. Okay. Yes, example, HTML, Java, C, C++, Hadoop, Python databases. Except ways. All of these things comes under application softwares. 
Okay, right? Next in application software, there are two categories. There are two categories. Okay, there are two categories. In application software, there are two categories. Two categories. First one is front end. First one is front end software. First one is front end software. Front end softwares. Front end softwares. Second one, back end softwares. Front end softwares. Next one, back end softwares. Back end softwares. Front end softwares and back end softwares. So what is front end software? What is back end software? Let us see. What is front end? What is back end? So front end. So what is front end? What is back end? Let us see. Suppose for example here. For example here. For example here. Yes, one second. What is happening? One second. Yes. So what is front end? What is back end here? Suppose, for example, here registering, registering some accounts like Facebook account or Gmail account, maybe maybe your college website account or maybe some company company website account, right? Some account user ID password, right? How to register? For is a registration form. There is a registration form. There is a registration form, right? There is a registration form. Yes, in this registration form, you have to fill all the information, right? Yes, like your first name, like first name, next. Name. Yes, middle name, first name, middle name, next last name. Okay, right? Next your birth date. Yes, like birth date, birth date, next gender. Yes, gender. Okay, sender next your contact details like this. All the information, right? After finally, the submit button, right? Submit, submit, right? So, once you submit it, what happens here? Yes, first name something here, middle name something here, last name something, word date something here, yes, gender something here, contact something, right? This is submit. Once you submit it here, all this data. So, what are field that form field, right? Once form field submit, so once you fill here. So once submitted that data, if the data goes to some location and storing it some area, the data storing at some location. Right? This is some database icon, database icon. So this data, so whatever is submitted, the data goes to this location storing here, right? storing here. Right? If this is called as backend, this is called as backend, this is called as frontend. So frontend form taking data from users, right? So users interacting from interacting with users, right? Taking data from users and storing data, right? So this is called as this is backend. This is called as backend. This is called frontend. That forms, forms are frontends, right? Yes. Today, yes, you filling, yes, you fill something form, right? Your first name and last name, your contact number, yes, your Gmail ID and all these fill, right? That form is nothing but frontend. That form taking your data and storing to that go to training app, right? Storing somewhere, right? Yeah, that is called as backend. Front end backend is like this. Cut difference like this. So this is front end, this is back end, right? So back end is to store the data. Front end is to interact with the end users. Right. Okay. So what is front end? What is back end? Let us see. Front end. Front end. Yes, it interacts. Front end it interacts with interacts with end users. End users. Okay, end user. Who is end user? So Facebook application. For example, Facebook application. We are using Facebook application, right? So we are the end users for the Facebook. We are the end users for the Facebook, right? So the here front end software interact with end users. End users for kind of collects and it collects data from end user. Collects data. After collecting data, just yes, stores in the back end, right? Just stores in the back end. Stores in the back end, right? So this is front end software. Right. Okay. Next back end. So what is back end here? Back end is store and maintain data. Here. Storing data, all data. Yeah, this is called as backend, right? Yes, in this. Yes, here this is backend. This is backend, right? So this is backend, right? So this is called as backend. So front and backend like Hello. this. Hello. 
yeah tell me uh, sir if, uh, if we are using facebook so how we will be end users we are the we are the end users we are using facebook right we are the users of that application right who are using application that user is the end user we are using facebook application to to, to share our data right so we are the end users so of flipkart suppose we are using flipkart application so we are the end users who are using application that user is the end user gmail we are using gmail right? so we are the end users who are using any application that is that person is a end user is it clear we are the end users of facebook here for gmail also we are the end users end users right okay yes now here backend so what is backend here backend is to store backend is to store and maintain data backend is to store and maintain data right so backend yes your information storing some location right? that location is called as backend yes all the information after filling all the information you can submit once submitted your data goes to some location and storing at some location right? that location is called as backend this is this is backend right this location backend so this is backend right so backend here right okay yes here backend to store and maintain data right suppose next time here suppose in facebook when you click on profile option right? this is a facebook profile option so when you click on some profile option yes profile suppose click on profile option what happens here yes getting that information that means the profile means your information stored somewhere in the disk right somewhere in the location that location backend so profile when you click on profile here it will get from the backend on display right that is backend so backend is to store and maintain data front end is to collect data from user right yes what is c language c language comes under front end here c is a front end c is a front end yes one second and see one second Yes, so till now what I've discussed is their document very clearly. Once let me open document, see this. So this document. Yes, all these device drivers and this application software, all parties applications of see this application software, front end back end. C language comes on front end. Front end. Yes, in front end, there are languages and packages. Package is a ready made one, ready to use. MS Office is a package. No programming, I think, correct. Right? Next languages. C comes under languages. C is the language in this which you try to programming. Yes, languages. Our part is language. So this topic tomorrow will continue. Right? Yes, any doubts for today? Yes, today, first day, a little bit late. Tomorrow, sharply, I will start at 4 30. 4 30 to 5 45 class. Yes, any doubts? Yes, today, all that uh -huh. introduction. Just introduction part finished here about myself. What's a course curriculum? What's a yes, course contents? So, what are the services providing for you? All this discussed today. Tomorrow we'll discuss actual topic. Yes, come on, come on. Come uh, sir, yeah, uh, tomorrow will be also demo class. No, not demo class. Demo in the sense means, demo okay, I'll talk to uh, you. 
uh, your team. Uh, so tomorrow, what we are going to learn? Yes, this is same languages, like low level languages, high level okay. languages, first generation, second generation, okay. third generation, fourth generation. This is generation of languages. Next, what is interpreter and compiler? These things. Next, just giving introduction to C language. Tomorrow topic. Introduction to C language before the generation of language. Next, interpreters and compilers. These things. Right, okay. Yes. Okay. No doubt. Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, four That's thirty it. exactly. Okay. Right. Uh, do you yeah. record today's video? Yeah. Hello? Today, yes. Uh, recorded. Recorded already. All recorded. Now okay. recording is going on. This session is being recorded. Yes. Now currently recording. This is this video we will okay. upload after finishing class. We'll upload tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, we can see that every day after finishing class we'll upload it here okay tomorrow yes not tomorrow night nine o'clock you can you can watch it yes within two hours we'll upload it after finishing here this will save to save maybe taking 15 to 20 minutes here after that online team they'll upload it upload it here so within two hours you can watch it now it's a six o'clock around here now at 8 30 or nine o'clock you can watch it suppose if not available tomorrow you can watch it okay right? mm, is it Yes, uh, yes. Day, uh, yeah. yeah, tell me. Okay. Uh, right now you are uh, teaching us on Notepad, right? Uh, if you uh, if uh, if you will teach us uh, programming, then you will use uh, software, right? Yeah, compulsory software. Every program I will type in the software. Every program I will type in the software. I will compile it after getting results. Yes, then I'll go to next program. Every program using okay. software. I'm using Turbo C software like this. I'm using some Turbo C software. Okay. Yes. Yeah. One second. Okay. Yes, I'm using software. Yes, I'm using Turbo C software. These are Turbo C software. Yes, let me open that Turbo C software here. This is a Turbo C software. I'm using this software. Okay. Yes, in this I'm writing programs. Yes, now you able to see this blue screen? Uh, yes. Yeah, in this <laughs> I'm writing programs. Yes, everyone. Yes. Okay. Like that. Uh, yeah, there are some programs like this. See, see for example, here, link list program. See this, the program. Yes, like this, I'm writing program. Top to bottom, I'll write. Even hundred lines of programmers are right. Every program. See the previous batch program. This is 260 lines of program. This is expand very clear. This program. Program developed and explained here. Every program I'll show in system here. Yes, compile. Yes, somewhere error messages. Yes, if you are missing some statement here, yes, compile success right. Next running here. Like this. Okay. I'll show you everything like this. I think you're right. Okay. Compulsion program. Every program I'll develop in ID. Half of that I'll compile it. After compilation, I'll show the results. So you can development itself can every statement I'll explain very clearly. Each and every statement I'll explain very clearly here. Right? Okay. Yes, it's not notepad mm. explanation here. Every topic, every topic I'll show. Yes, on the yes environments. So compulsory every program I'll show it here. Yes, next, any other doubts? Hello? Mm. Yes, no doubts, right? So let us wind up for today. Yes, shall we wind up for today, class? Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, so tomorrow at 4.30, right? Okay. Yeah, no problem. Just you yeah. see two or three days. See two, two, two or three days demo yeah. classes for Two to three days available, no problem. Okay, this week you can see no problem. Okay, if you're feeling okay, fine, then you can you can proceed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had a word with your madam, so I'll talk to her. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Yes, see you tomorrow.